Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and let's do some collective wisdom here with tools um, and talk about heat shrink tubing. Uh, this is a kit from Commercial Electric. I think I got this at Home Depot a while ago. This one is a GB, um, probably from, you know, Ace Hardware or something. I like the colors that this came in. This one does denote here that it is a two to one shrink ratio. There's two, three, four to one, etc. 600 volt rating, etc. Um, but anyway, what do you use it for? And that's really the question here. Um, I have been using kind of uh, markings like this forever. Uh, learned this a long time ago. Generally, the blue might be mine, and the red overland is or over um, over on it is metric. Um, and then I might just run regular blue or something else on uh, the uh, SAE. I've also used heat shrink like here to finally fix these sunglasses. I've had these forever. Kept breaking the temple for some reason and then I glued it and it would break and glue it and break. Well as you can see this is pretty worn but um, this has held quite well. This heat shrink over the broken part so I use it there. I've tried to figure out ways to mark tools um, so one question maybe where we'll start is how do you get the heat shrink say if you've got a two to one over a larger area in this case I double wrap or I wrapped it and then folded it over itself so what I mean by that is if I had a big piece of heat shrink and it ran went around something I could double fold it like that try to do that again for you and then have this show you here maybe double get that to fold over maybe something like that over the top and then shrink it what I've discovered is these Mary uh, pliers these disconnect pliers actually work quite well because I can hold it down precisely and with one hand and then hit it with my heat gun so as I'm um, you know blasting this thing I can also make sure it's seated but that seems pretty clunky um, a few others I've managed to get fairly seamless but is there a, a way to do this? I guess there's something called heat shrink tape that you can just wrap around and then hit it with the with the um, the gun. The other thing is a lot of times if I go back here, and it's kind of why I like this stuff. If I have um, say SAE or um, uh, metric, I can easily just clip off a piece and call this you know SAE I can look and see what am I working with here if I can see that's the problem with these things you know what is this I think that's metric you know here we go so I might slide this on well here's something another thing this barely fits so what I found is I could grab a um, pair of pliers uh, like this that have one of these openings that's just slightly larger you can see I've got some gap up here um, they're slightly smaller and I can grab this and slide it down this one's not working here it's starting to shred there come on have to find that magic there we go you see that slide it down and then I can hit it There we go. Pretty junky, but close enough. It's going to get torn up like that anyway. And then I can separate it out. So if I've got a pile of uh, hex keys, I can easily separate out the ones that are, say, um, fractional versus metric. Um, I've also done player identification. Here's some Jensen pliers. If I want to separate these out, I've got little uh, yellow bands. Can place them, you know, choose a location, hit those with a, uh, a heat gun, and then that that um, heat shrink makes that something that is identified. I did it with wrenches. This tells me right away it's a fractional wrench. 
assuming I can't read that right away, what happens is I have a pile of wrenches, I can easily sort them. This is nothing but electrical tape. It's blue, a little thicker, and like I've done in the past, where I might have blue denotes me, and then red denotes metric. So if it's just regular blue, it's fractional, and if it's blue with a red band, it's um, mine and metric. And I learned that a long time ago uh, marking climbing equipment. So you could easily just look through some rack and pull out all your stuff. Um, the other thing is sometimes I may want to denote something. Like this is a snap-on pry bar, but it's straight. So I may want to grab a piece of um, a heat shrink and slide that over so this separates out from the rest of my snap-on pry bars because there's no bend in it. That might be something I want to do. Anyway, I'm curious, a couple of questions plus whatever you want to add. First of all, what do you use heat shrink for besides traditional heat shrink uh, uses? And the second thing is, if you've got some you know, tough stuff you want to heat shrink, how do you deal with it? Is there a solution? Uh, do you have some special sauce that allows you to you know, somehow seal something on in a... Uh, um, an environment where you have to slide it over and you don't say have four to one heat shrink. Although I need to track some down. If you got a link, let me know. Um, and then, of course, what else? What do you do with this stuff? I mean, it's pretty potent. There's a lot you can do with heat shrink besides heat shrinking the stuff that's supposed to be heat shrunk. So let me know. I'm curious. It's collective wisdom. And with that, Doc out.